So, uh, yeah, the top, we got this rectangle, and I don't know that that was better. <laughs> Second time, but I'm going to keep this one. Those two rectangles are these two rectangles right here. Okay, so those are those, that's what makes it a rectangular prism. And you could say, well, couldn't I rotate this and make it different? Yes, you could. But the way that this net is drawn, we're just going to keep with what it says, which means that this part right here is the lateral area, okay? So that again, that's the rectangles that wrap around this shape. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can figure out where these measurements go. All right, now this 15 right here, it's kind of the height of this rectangular prism that would go right here. And it's true that it's also these lengths as well. And we are gonna need those, okay? We do have the five, that's kind of the width or depth of this prism. That would be this length right here, these ones right here, this, those are fibers. In fact, uh, you got these ones as well. Those are also five right there, okay? And then what do we got? Uh, I put 16, I meant that's 15 right there. Copying's hard. Uh, the 16. This one right here, we'll put, make that 16. That would be this length. I guess I already got it in green. That's 16. 16 and then five, okay? Now it would be nice to figure out the area of this rectangle. And uh, since we have all the measurements we need to find the area, we can figure that out, right? We can say this, this whole length here on the bottom, just add these values together. 16 plus five plus 16 plus five is a 42. So the area just, again, this is the lateral area, so usually they just write it as LA. It's a 15 by 42 rectangle, all right? So I put this into the calculator, 15 times 42, length times width, base times height, however you want to look at it, and you got 630. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna label this in square units, and since this is one of our answers, right, and one of the lateral and surface area, I'm gonna, Label this, so 630 square units, that's the lateral area, okay? Now, that helps us to find the total surface area because I have these two rectangles on the top and bottom, okay? Um, and yeah, this is a 16 by five rectangle, just from what we see on the bottom, right? These two measurements. So, the area of one of them would be 16 times five, it's a 16 by five rectangle, 16 times five is 80. But we got two of them, they're the exact same rectangle. So I just multiply this by 260. And that's the area of the, of the base rectangles, both of them. So I just need to add that to the 630. And what do we get? Zero on nine and 790 square units. So this would be the total surface area. I'm just gonna write SA, surface area. Total surface area if you want. And those are, that's the two answers we need on this.